Previously on Perp Place Baldur Gate 3, we save a teethling from being ambushed. I witnessed my first dragon using a telescope. We found a new companion to join our adventures. We got a contract to get some doodad from somewhere, and the adventure continues. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! Don't you dare lay a finger on that kid. You threatening me? You're the one making threats to a child. Pull yourself together. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He. Oh, the hell's with this? These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> Thanks to you, that kid is my locket. My mum gave that to me on her deathbed. Get out of my face. Got nothing to say to you. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. We've known enough grief this ten day traveller. Don't be the cause of more. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. No helping it. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? This is not a magic ring. The runes are gibberish. Hey, not so loud! You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother. She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. All right, take your ring. What do you have to trade? Thank you. That means so much. That's what I got. Boss. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn.
You see her hand in your bags and the shame in her heart. Something tells me that thieving life is not for you. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Over there. Please, last room. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Things have stayed interesting. If you'd mind my step. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Get eaten by a bear. Try grease some palms. These things over. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust. Snake! I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child. Make sure she comes to no harm. She's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. I need a quick word. <sighs> Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. I'm not looking for trouble. Can you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. <laughs> Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove or face our claws. Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. And what can you tell me about? What's up for discussion? Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Uh, change? No. Damn it! Are you all right? No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. Hand me that loot. We can perform together. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Dance upon... 
tonight Smile and pain will fade away Interesting. Why don't we try again? Cry as much you need. <laughs> She'd have said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn for her. Keep the loot, please. You've earned it. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. ahead. Is someone singing? It's beautiful. You shouldn't be standing out in the water, it's dangerous. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. I don't hear anything, come back to shore. No, no, it's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Everything's gonna be fine once I get there.
roll in my favor. See you now for what you are.
They're gone. Are you all right? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Take a breath. Deep and slow. You're safe now. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mole will be so mad. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. <sighs> that scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. Yes, somehow I can imagine you as a handful. Comes with the territory. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Such as? There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. My interest. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variant goblin, led by Lesher and flanked by Boyogs. Ah, 
a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. The time was spent among books. I'm a student of the page. Uh -huh. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men. But to each their own. Now, I've a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, McLaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Oh. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. I'm looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Anetti in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Are you helping to prepare for the ritual? I would prefer not to. But if Master Halsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I help protect the grove. I'm not your enemy. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Sounds like she needs to be stopped. How do we do that? A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Helsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Well, this is it. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. The next part should be ready and premiered.
see you guys later